In this lecture, I'm going to record the sound of my keyboard through my audio interface. So before I start, let's just go and have a look at the control panel and make sure that I'm using the correct device by default. So I just go to the control panel, go to hardware and sound, and then sound. And if we just look at the dialog box here, on the playback, I could choose between my speakers or headphones attached to my fast track duo and the speakers attached to my computer's sound card so you see i've got two choices but in this case i want to use my audio interface and i have set it as the default device to do that you simply need to click and set default but i've already done that for the fast track and then if i go to the recording tab i've done exactly the same if you remember before I used my computer's microphone port to do the recording, so this was the default device, but now I've switched over to my fast track device. Okay, now to get this device running correctly on Windows, before I plugged it in, I made sure that I ran the software on the disk to install the drivers. And so I've got an extra little control panel here for the device where you can adjust the sampling rate and you can also um, change the buffer size. What this does is the lower the buffer size, the faster the device is working. The gap between recording yourself and listening to yourself through the software is very small. However, this puts a lot of pressure on your computer. And so if you've got an underpowered computer, you might find you get popping and clicking if this is too low. And so you have to turn it up a bit. But unfortunately, you then end up with a slight delay between recording and monitoring what you're doing so there are options here to play around with that to get the optimum amount on a modern computer you should be able to run it with a fairly low buffer size and therefore really minimize what's called the latency let's have a quick look at what my setup looks like now i've got the line out from the back of my keyboard connected up to the two line inputs on the back of my interface so i've got a y cable with an eighth of an inch mini jack at one end and two quarter inch mono jacks on the other end and you can see that that will connect the two things up and that's how I'm making the recording through my interface. So my device is all set up let's head over and make a recording. So I'm just going to make a quick recording in Audacity and the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I've got the right devices set up. So you can see here I could play back through my sound card but I'm going to make sure I'm playing back through my interface and that I'm recording through my interface then all I need to do is press the record button and start creating a track so my keyboard is connected directly up to my interface and then I'm recording through the interface onto my computer rather than through my computer's built-in microphone port. As you can see, you get a very nice sound recording through good quality line inputs. Now that I've done that, let's just stop go back to the beginning and just play it back to make sure that it's sounding okay but I think we've already heard it as we were recording. That's recording on Windows into Audacity with my interface. What I'm going to do in a future lecture is come back and look at how we would turn that file into a CD or an MP3 or share it.